Hey guys, I'm Darren uh, from Novastar Training Group. Today we are going to talk about this topic, motor battery adjustment. So before we start this topic, the first question is, what is a motor batch? So from my point of view, there will be two situations. The first, they produced at different time. So the cabinets may use the different LED lamps and even the color of the masks will be different. Will be different. And the second is they produced at the same time, but they may used for different period of time. Their alternation is different, such as the relationship between the screen and the spare module. Okay, so what about the system structure? When we perform the motor battery adjustment, how we, can, uh, how we need to connect our system? The system structure will be like this. The control PC provides the video source and the, the control signal to the sending card. And the sending card directly uses the Ethernet cable to load the screen. So basically, as you can see here, we do not have any video, process video processors. So which means, before we start to do the motor battery adjustment, we should make sure we remove all the video processing device. Otherwise, it may cause some problems. Okay, next, let's dive into the motor battery adjustment software operation part. Okay, now you can see, this is the main interface of Nova LCT. Because uh, currently I'm, I'm not having a multi-batch screen to show you the effect, so I will use the demonstration mode to show you the software operation. So in the main interface, we need to log in first. The password is admin. Okay. Then we click tools and we select the multi-batch adjustment in the drop-down list. And as you can see in this interface, we got two options, the menu adjustment and apply adjustment fail. Because uh, at the first time, we need to select the menu adjustment. Once we finish the adjustment, we can have this kind of fail. And for the calorimeter, normally when we onset, we do not have the calorimeter. So we can keep it as default, no calorimeter. Then we go next. And in this interface, it's for add sample batch. Because we should let the software know which part of the screen is batch 1 and which part of the screen is batch 2. So you can see here, we can select the sample batches 1. Click the right, uh, click the green cross on the right side. So in the demonstration mode, we have eight, uh, we have eight cabinets. So we can assume like the first row is a batch one and the second row is a batch two. And what do we have to do? We just need to select two adjacent cabinets. That's enough. Because if you select more areas or more cabinets, it will take longer time when uploading the calibration coefficients. So which means we need to wait longer. So. Let's take the first cabinet of the first row as a sample of the batches one. And we switch to the batches two, click the green cross, and click the first cabinet of the second row as a sample of the batches two. Click add. As you can imagine, if we want to find a common, uh, common value to, to, to adjust these both cabinets, it will be much more difficult for us. So what we have to do, we can fix the one batches and the reference, we just go to the, the other batches to adjust only one batch. So here you can see we have an option. So we select the batch one, fix batch one, and adjust the other batches to this batch. And then we can see here we fix the batches one. Now we just uh, do the adjustment for the batch 2. Then we go next. The software is doing the initialization calculating. Okay, now as you can see in this interface, on the laptop of your uh, laptop or your PC, there is a virtual window which is display the current batch. So we need to select the two batches and display on the virtual window. At the same time, it will display on your rear screen. And you can see here, 
this interface is all gray, which means it's not available for us to do the adjustment. That is because the batch one is a reference, so we need we no need to do the adjustment or modify. So we just modify the batch two. And for the colors, you can see here we have seven colors, uh, seven color op options: the right, green, blue, uh, cyan, yellow, magenta, and white. And regarding the uh, uh, coefficients adjustment, we have two different modes, the RGB mode and the HS mode. In the RGB mode, we, it allows us to modify the red coefficients, green coefficients, blue coefficients by add different color in different, uh, different coefficients. For example, if we want to modify the red coefficients, we may add some green or add some blue in, in this interface. I drag the bar here and to observe the, the real screen effect at the same time and if we switch to the each eye eye mode it's the same we have the right table green tabs uh, blue tabs but if you set the parameters is the brightness saturation hue so basically there is no better version or worse version both adjustment mode can realize to uh, do the multi batch adjustment just from the different perspectives. And sometimes after we finish the multi batch adjustment, we will find uh, the single color we are satisfied. But if we switch to the white color, we, it seems to still, uh, still different. So, what do we have to do? We can balance it by clicking the balance button at, he at here. Okay, the software will like us to do the balance adjustment again. Uh, the same principles, you can choose RGB mode or the HISM mode. After the adjustment, you can go next. And in this interface, it allows us to modify the right brightness, green brightness, and white brightness by observing the white color. And then we go next. The software will automatically do the balancing, balanced matching. So basically, what we have to do is follow the steps of the software. So here, I just show you the steps, how we do the multi batch adjustment. And what you have to do is follow my steps or follow the software steps. Then we go next. And after the adjustment, there will be this interface. Name is View Balanced Results. So which means this interface is for us to confirm the the effect after the uh, multi batch adjustment. We can switch between the right, green, blue, cyan, yellow, magenta, or white, or we can let the customer to see the screen effect whether they are satisfied or we, uh, they are, uh, whether it's acceptable. If they confirm, okay, the screen effect is okay, then we can finish the multi batch adjustment. Then we can go next. Basically, when we uh, when we get into this interface, we've already finished, finished the multi batch adjustment. What we have to do is we need to add more areas for the, uh, for the same batch. Because we know the batch 1 is a reference, so we need no need to add, uh, add more areas. But for the batch 2, we only select one cabinet from the second row. So, as we know, we need to select more areas. Click Add Areas on the right side. And we select the rest of cabinets from the second row, click Add and we click the Apply All button on the right side and wait to the system or wait to the software upload the coefficients automatically so basically now is your coffee break you can take a coffee, you can have a cigarette just relax and wait the software to, to, to do the rest to do the rest the same Okay, now the uploading is finished. So what do we have to do next is save it. So as we know, the calibration coefficient is saved in the receiving card. But if your module have a small chips on it, which we call it module flash, then we need to hit the save to flash. So which means the calibration with calibration coefficients were saved in the receiving card and in the module flash at, at the same time. But this time, we are not doing the manual adjustment again. We just need to select Apply Adjustment File. Then we can see here, we need to 
uh, browse it from the file path. So we choose browse and select from the desktop. Click open, then click next. Then you will find, okay, this is a familiar software interface. We can add more areas or more screens from the topology and apply the multi-batch adjustment. Basically, like means we apply the calibration coefficients for all the new cabinets from the same batch. And we can click save to flash. We can click complete. Okay, thank you. I think that's all for the motor battery adjustment and that's all for today's content. Let's see you next time. Bye bye.